Okay, guys, let's start with this uh, assignment, assignment three, and let's go over it real quick. Now, determine the value of the following expression assuming a equals five, b equals two. So, five is greater than two. So, what? Uh, determine the value true. And a not equal b true. D mod B. D is 6 mod B2 is 0. And C mod B, which is 0, equals equal to true. A multiplied by C, <coughs> 520 doesn't equal D multiplied by B, which is 12 true d multiplied by b d6 multiplied by 12 equals equals c multiplied by e12 true so all of them came out to be true now write an appropriate statement if the following for the following conditions use a reasonable variable name and those are really good guys to know this is a good practice for what <coughs> and this Let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. I don't need this. Now, if an angle, if angle equals to 90 degree, print the message. So I say if angle equals equals 90 degree. What do we need? Print the message. The angle is right angle. See out the angle is right angle. Okay, what else do you need? A semicolon. The angle. Else print the message. Else print what? see out blah 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 whatever they want blah 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 and now if temperature is above a hundred degree if temperature temp I can I can leave it as temp is greater above 100 degrees is greater than 100 display the message above boiling point of water see out print whatever the message there blah 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 and what else display a message below boiling point of water below else see out below boiling <coughs> below boiling okay if the minimum number is positive if the number is positive so if num is greater than zero add the number to the variable positive sum. so num equals num plus positive sum else add the number to the variable negative so let us do this this is so here what are we saying if num is greater than zero positive what am I gonna do add the number so num plus positive sum and I'm gonna add uh, add to the variable okay equals this positive sum else yeah add the number to the variable negative sum negative sum equals num 
equals negative sum plus num or we can do it this way plus equal and num okay so we're done with this if the difference is between temp and temp two exceeds so if difference is temp one minus temp two calculate the variable error temp okay so if temp minus temp one minus temp two is greater than this I do what uh, I'll say error equals temperature multiplied by factor and that's it for the following problems use logic operators to generate an if or or loop statement with the specified condition leave the body of the if loop statement empty what's the logic operator what are the logic operators and or yeah remember them write an if statement to detect if a person's salary falls between 3000 and if statement if okay here we can say okay an f statement if a person's salary falls between f salary falls between 30,000 is greater than 30,000 and salary <coughs> is less than 150,000 is that right yep that's okay write an if statement that will ex execute if the variable select is lowercase or uppercase a if the variable select is a lowercase or uppercase a write an if statement that will execute if the variable selected is lower or uppercase I think if the variable is a uh, So I'll say here if whatever let's say select equals equals if it's a character I'm gonna say what a capital or select equals equals a small and I close it okay write an if statement that will see if the variable x falls between two and eight, and eight or if the variable y is greater than ten if variable a x is greater than two and x is less than eight or variable y is greater than ten y greater than 10 and we close that this is good rewrite the following f else chain by using a switch statement this is another really good one so a uh, switch statement I, uh, I'm gonna switch on a case which and what's the case I'm gonna have factor factor which is inside the so if the factor in case well, one I'm gonna do pressure equals 250 and we do a break here As two case two pressure equals three sixty 
and we'll do a break here and else if case 3 if pressure equals 450 or 4.5 sorry okay my oh my eyes are going crazy now Hopefully you do good guys tomorrow. Hopefully I didn't waste all my time on nothing. Else if factor equals equals four factor equal to equals five or either one of those. So in this case this is really important. I have to put it at case four case five. They're all together. So I leave it. If you don't include the break, it will take it. And case six. Okay. And I'm what is case six here? I'm gonna say pressure equals. 49.0 and we do a break after that and wow well, what's the default there's no else I need an else for this one to say default mm -mm -mm -mm. okay short circuit evaluation what do we mean by short circuit evaluation Let's see, integer 8 and weight. 8 is 25, weight is 145. Weight, is it less than 180? Yes. And 8 is greater than 45? Uh, than 20? 8 is, and 8 is greater. Yes, 8 <coughs> greater or equals 20 must be, must still be evaluated. Why? because weight came out true and we have an and <coughs> if weight was false <coughs> weight uh, less than 80 let's say uh, greater than 180 that would be false we don't need because we have an add sign we don't need to evaluate it now in this case 8 equals 25 height equals 70 height greater than 60 this is true do I need to continue? No, because I have an OR, and whatever this is true or false, this is gonna be all true, and this is gonna go to false. Does age need to be evaluated? No, doesn't need to be evaluated. So now let's go to um, assignment four. Uh, true or false? An example of a logic Boolean expression is an arithmetic expression followed by a relational operator followed by an arithmetic expression what's a relational operator you forgot those boolean expression like a b and c or d or we're using gates no and an exam we're using rational operators relational operators which are what not equal <coughs> less than followed by another arithmetic expression so this is false True or false? If uh, character one contains the value C and character two contains the value K, the value of the C plus plus expression. Oh, this is a relational operator. This is true. Sorry, guys. Why did I? A relational operator is gonna be bool. It's gonna be true or false at the end. So yeah, we don't care that's gonna be true and here what do I have I have 
C is it less or equals K what do we have C A is usually what are those capital A is 65 in ASCII so A B C C is gonna be what 67 K is gonna be what D G H I K <coughs> eight A I think seventy five but anyway K is even D even D in this case if we add D here it will be greater than character one this will be true is true 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 or false the expression n is less than 5 no meaning no n less than 5 meaning what n greater than 5 is equivalent to the n greater or equal 5 so that's why here we pick false because it should be n greater or equal 5 true or false the co-segment if speed is less or equal 40 CR, CR too, uh, too slow if speed is greater than 40 and speed is less than 55 good speed if speed is greater than too fast <coughs> could be written equivalently <coughs> as if speed is less than 40 CR too slow else if speed is less than 55 okay with the FLCS yeah. so because we covered already the 40 so we need to cover there it's less than 55 if it's gonna be this will cover what if speed is less than or equal 40 so else will be what greater than 40 and here I said to 55 good so that is good true which of the following is not a C++ Re uh, relational operator the AND is a logic operator all those are re relational operators which C++ logic expression correctly determines whether a value of beta lies between beta lies between 0 and 100 beta is greater than 0 and beta is less than 100 and beta is greater than 0 and beta is less than 100 B and C this question is about short circuit evaluation of the logic expression consider the following expression in some imaginary programming language so I have n greater than 5 and k over n is less than 12 if n equals 0 0 is a greater than 5 no but here I have a problem look at this k over 0 it's an error we can't divide uh, uh, something by 0 any number by zero following statement about the expression is true is divide. which of the following statements it causes a divide by zero error only if the language uses shared, uh, short circuit evaluation no if it uses short circuit evaluation it's not gonna cause uh, divide by zero error because I have this as false so it's not gonna go and check this it causes a divide by zero error only if the language does not use short circuit evaluation mm. yeah, ma, no. it causes a divide by zero error or whether or not the language uses short circuit evaluation it, is, it never causes a divide by zero error so uh, B if the language does not use source circuit evaluation if the integer variable i j k contain the values 10 3 and 20 respectively what is the value of the following logic expression 10 3 and 20 i j k i is 10 k is 20 so this is true and now I need 
to check those j is what three j is it less than four true or j equals equals five where j j is three false this is because j doesn't equal equal five after execution of the federal code segment what will the value of angle if the input value is 10 this is a really good example guys this is a really good one we might get one something like that cn angle which is 10 if angle is greater than 5 is it greater than 5 10 greater than 5 yes so I'm gonna have angle plus which is 10 plus 5 15 and save it in angle yeah so I have 15 and get angle now it's gonna check again if angle is greater than 2 it doesn't matter this is an if statement after this there's no else's it's gonna be executed so I have 15 plus 10 is gonna be 25 so angle is 25 e is 25 after the execution of the following what will be the value of the angle if the input value is 0 real important again I have 0 cn 0 if 0 is greater than 5 is 0 greater than 5 no so else if 0 greater than 2 no so what it'll be 0 nothing will change assuming alpha and beta are in variables what is the output of the following code which is uh, uh, indented poorly alpha 3 beta 2 if alpha 2 less than 2 now false if beta equals equals 3 it's not gonna go here because it's a body of this so this is for it's gonna go hello lc out there nothing is output the output is hello why this is false this this if statement is false this is the body of the if statement so this is false by default because of that and now i'll say c out hello okay lc out nothing is outputted If else is for what? Else is for the if beta equals equals three. So no, it's not. Nothing is outputted. Okay. Given the following code segments, I have string name, string name, name Marky Mary. What is the value of the relation expression? Name is less than name. What do you think? Okay, let's see here. Mary and Mark. Which one has the name one? Is it less than yes? Because it's a K. All of them are similar. So they're going to compare K and Y. Uh, 
given the following code this has more value the 51 are the two values that a boolean variable can have true or false zero or one write a statement that stores a zero in answer if one is greater than two <coughs> and we can write it this way if one is greater than two what do we do Sort of zero and answer answer equals zero. And now, if you want to have more than one statement executed within an if statement, what syntax do you use? I uh, will use what a curly brace. This is really important, guys. Which is what this. So I have this and this and I have the body of the F here uh, write C++ uh, logic expression that is true if the variable test score is greater than or equal to 90 test score is greater than or equal to 90 that's easy or than or equal to 100 that's another easy one you should know it guys the following expression result in uh, division by zero when some integer has the value zero some integer zero doesn't equal zero so this is false so it doesn't need to go here true or false it is not uh, uncommon that a student starts math class with calculus uh, one in college is equivalent to it is common that students start math classes with calculus one in college what is that it is not it is not uncommon it's not uncommon yes true a student uh, are not allowed to either live off campus or work for time during their first is equivalent to student can neither live off campus nor work on the freshman year to uh, now uh, 21 true or false a equals equals b is equivalent to a not b Now let's see is equivalent uh, true or false uh, a equals equals b or c equals e is equivalent to and I have a not is equivalent to a not b and c not d okay so let's let's try try uh, to answer that by ourselves and put values for them and see so if uh, let's say 5 a equals equals 5 or so that's gonna be all true and that's gonna equal to false because I have the not so it's gonna be false so this is gonna be what as inside here is gonna be true and because uh, we have the not it's gonna be what false and this equals to false now 
is equivalent to this a doesn't equal b and c doesn't equal d a doesn't equal b is false let's say and false is gonna give me false yes true okay true or false student will be accepted into you know the university if they have either a GPA of or above or a set score uh, reading and math is equivalent to student will not be accepted if they have a GPA below 3 or a set true and now it's not no 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 not an or it's gonna be an and and neither no they don't okay let's see student will be accepted is it okay we did that one we're done with this let's go quickly on five walls Five is really important. Given the following code fragment, see out a, which is a character, double quote, uh, single quotes, for loop count zero, loop count is less than three, loop count plus plus, see out b. Okay, now count c. The result will be well. It's gonna print a, and here it's gonna give me three b's and a C so it's gonna be C this one C Oof. A B B B C now true or false the statement switch in case 8 case 3 default gamma plus plus break alpha plus plus break beta plus plus break is equivalent to the following statement the switch statement in if n equals equals 8 alpha is plus plus else if n equals equals 3 else will be yes true and which of the following is not a c++ looping looping control structure a while is a loop a for is a loop a do while is a loop switch is not a loop is a condition like an if else branching what is the output of the following code fragment if the input value is g so cn input character z switch on g i'm gonna go to g it's empty but it's gonna take the one after it so it's gonna be two and break so what uh, input value if is g it's gonna be two all uh, right a for loop there is equal to the following while loop variables are of type integer so I'll say integer count equals negative five for integer oh that one is so easy this one is and I think most of you got it the people who submitted their homeworks we're gonna have four one integer count equals negative 5 and I'm gonna check count is this then or equal 15 and then I'm gonna say count plus plus and then I'm gonna have some equals some plus count here in the line below and we're done what is the output of the following code fragment? Uh, uh, all variables are of type integer. I have n equals 1, 4 loop count equals 1, loop count is less than 3 loop count plus plus. So while n is less than 4, this is a really good one. So loop count is 1, loop count less than 3, true, loop count plus plus. I'm gonna go to what? While. 
while one is less or equal four true what am I gonna do so now here it's really important to know what's going on let's take this out I'm gonna say n equals 1 so 1 is less than or equal 4 so now n equals n equals 2 multiplied by what n so that equals 2 is it gonna print out no because <coughs> I'm still in the body if I had Kelly braces it would because this is the body of the while loop it's the first line after it goes back to it's less than or equal 4 through <coughs> what is it gonna do n is equal to 2 multiplied by the new value of n 2 equals <coughs> 4 then we say 4 is less or equal 4 through so it's gonna go n equals 2 multiplied sorry I put that as addition 2 multiplied multiplied by 4 which equals 8 and now it goes back it's not gonna print it okay 8 it's through 8 sorry I put the wrong one 4 ok 1 I, I remember I graded one of those and I put wrong on 8 you had the answer 8 after execution of the code fragment character C equals C character equals C capital integer alpha equals 3 switch on character so it's gonna go to C I'm switching on character and I have alpha plus 30 3 plus 30 is 33 so what is the value of alpha 33 what is the output of the following code fragment beta is of type integer beta equals 5 do switch beta I'm gonna on 5 switch to beta which is gonna be L now beta minus minus it's gonna be 4 and beta 4 is greater than 1 it's gonna go to 4 so it's gonna be L O and it's gonna go here 3 and it's gonna go to 2 which is empty it's gonna take L O again O L so is how this goes L O we had the first one L the second one O and let's put them capital O and for the two what is it gonna do it's gonna do the O sorry not the L O and then it's gonna go to one after one well beta minus minus is 1 greater than 1 now it's gonna exit C out X so it's gonna tab looks L O O where did it go and I'll have an X here and 5 point what is the output of the following code fragment loop count equals 0 C out G okay so we're gonna have a G here's what I'll do always write it down guys easiest thing you can do G while loop count which is 0 less 0 less or equal 4 yes if loop count equals 3 C out O no it's not equal 3 but here I'm missing what equal equal so what's gonna happen here what is the after the flow code fragment 
so this is gonna ignore this and it's gonna go type O loop count plus plus I had loop count as well zero now it's one and I have one G O zero if loop count equals three we can't say if loop count equals three we have to say if loop count equals equals three c out o so that's not gonna run will it go to the loop count plus plus yes and it's gonna loop 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 until it becomes what well. i have a d and i have a It's gonna become three one so okay. How is it an infinite loop? Loop count. It's no way it's an infinite loop. While count while loop count is less than four. No. So it's a A. I go with A. So we stopped here, guys. Uh, here's for the final for whoever was with me on the videos. Check the videos. I said some things are important. Um, code uh, snap its code segments. I'm gonna bring. What's the output? We're gonna have a lot of those. What's the value of the output? Show me the output. This is the best thing. Show me the output. What else? I'm not. I, I'm not a fan of true or false. Honestly, I'm gonna write the exam now. I have a couple of questions in my mind, and they're really good. We wanna see who did the programs by himself and who copied. Today we'll know. Okay, good luck guys. Let me know if you need anything.